purpose of this project is to understand and form an idea of how earthquakes erupt using coke and mentos. After doing research online, I figured out that using Diet Coke is better than regular Coke for the Mentos and Coke project. I think that the Mentos will cause the Coke to erupt out of the clay volcano, similar to a real volcano. The bottom of the soda bottle right here, where the soda will be, is like the magma chamber. The Mentos will cause lots of carbonation, similar to the pressurized gases in a real volcano. The carbonation will push the magma up through the pipe, or in this case, the tube of the soda bottle, and out of the vent, which is at the top of the soda bottle. Then, the soda will blast out of the clay volcano and run down the sides. The materials that I will be using for this project are a 12 by three inch um, a cooking pan, basically, and then I also have a water bottle, which I will be using as the base that holds all of the Diet Coke. And this is going to act as the magma chamber, the bottom. Then it goes up through the pipe and out of the vent, which we are going to be cutting because uh, it needs to be bigger so we can drop four or five mentos in because it actually explodes pretty fast. And we're going to be cutting it with an exacto knife, and my dad is going to help me with that. Then we also are moving on to the air dry clay, which we are going to be using to actually make the volcano. Um, and we are going to make it all around this water bottle. Next we have the Diet Coke, which we are going to be using the funnel, and we're going to be putting it there and pouring the Diet Coke in. <laughs> Sorry. And then also we have the Mentos, which are the mint Mentos, which are the things that are going to make the actual eruption happen. Because basically what happens is the Mentos have a certain texture that makes the Diet Coca-Cola bubble up a lot, and then that's going to cause the eruption. So those are all of my materials. Step one is to cut open the water bottle with an X-Acto knife. Make sure when you do this you have parental supervision. The next step is to make your volcano out of clay. I chose to make my cinder cone volcano, but you can do this however you want. As you can see, the volcano looks pretty cool. And I have used most of the clay. Now let's move on to the next step. If you accidentally spilled clay everywhere, make sure to clean up. We're heading to the park to do the experiment and we need materials to decorate the volcano. So here we go. The next step is to take the funnel and the Diet Coke and you're gonna pour it in. So here we go. While you're at it, you might as well take a sip. Mmm, that's good. The next step is to take the Mentos and put them into the volcano and see what happens. It's not even... It's not even doing anything. It is. Bubbling, but it's not that bubbly. I don't think that this project worked for two reasons. One, because when we poured in the soda, some of the carbonation was lost. And two, because the hole is so big, there was not enough pressure to push the soda out. And so, that, for those reasons, we didn't work. Now we're gonna try again with some different soda. As you can see, we replaced the water bottle with the Coke bottle. And now we're gonna try again. I think that this is gonna work. Okay, we're doing take two. It's almost there. There. Okay. Starting in three, two, one. Whoa! Look at that! That is so cool! And it didn't kill the ants or anything. Oh, that is awesome.
due to the correction of the two factors that were making this not work, we have succeeded in making this volcano blow up. Let's take it inside. My data proved my hypothesis correct. The soda acted as magma and performed just like a volcano. The quote-unquote magma went up through the pipe from the magma chamber and out of the vent. Then it spilled out of the volcano and went into the pot. In conclusion, what I originally thought was that the Mendos would cause the coke to erupt out of the clay volcano, similar to a real one. And I was right. The first time we tried the volcano, it didn't work because we poured the soda into a water bottle, which made the soda lose carbonation. We tried again by replacing the water bottle with a soda bottle, and that time it worked. My data proved my hypothesis correct. I think that this project was so much fun, and I would definitely do it again. I also think that I achieved my purpose, which was to formulate an idea of how earthquakes erupt using Coke and Mentos. Thank you for your time.